Good evening, everyone. I am Sangan An. Uh, tonight, we are going to learn about the Isaiah 53, verse 5. It is a, a prophecy about the suffering servant coming Jesus Christ. <clears throat> so we are going to learn about the mystery of suffering servant. Suffering servant is identified with his people. He suffered the chastisement on behalf of his people. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was on him. And with his stripes we are healed. Every word in this prophecy is mysterious, but we must understand in deeper way so how this the prophecy of suffering servant could be identified with Jesus Christ, our Savior. Okay, who could be the suffering servant? So historically, it could be interpreted in this way. Uh, according to the theological term, multiple application multiple application of a prophecy in the book of isaiah so uh, now let me introduce about uh, various fulfillment even though it is a partial fulfillment okay number one uh, joseph's story joseph also suffered as a righteous man but he suffered he was betrayed by stepbrothers. He was sold to become a slave in Egypt. The life of slave could be understood as a suffering servant. But later on, the Lord raised him up to become the prime minister in Egypt. So this is the uh, basic understanding of the suffering servant. Okay, and then Isaiah himself. The prophet Isaiah himself, okay, according to Babylonian Talmud, says that he suffered martyrdom. So he was killed. Even though he was righteous servant of the Lord, he was killed. He suffered suffering. He was sworn in two under the orders of wicked king Manasseh. He was killed. So in that in this way. Uh, the righteous servant of the Lord, Isaiah, was suffered. Okay, number three, Jeremiah. Jeremiah, as you read the book of Jeremiah, the lifelong, he suffered uh, many troubles. He was a really uh, suffering servant of the Lord. Continual suffering, okay, by false prophets and politicians. Wicked politicians persecuted him. False prophet persecuted him. So in this way, historically, uh, suffering servant may point to Jeremiah. And then, number four, Daniel and his three friends, they are also righteous one, devoted one of the Lord. But uh, from time to time, Daniel and his, his three friends uh, suffered persecution. Daniel, okay, he was confined in the uh, dungeon where there are many lions. He suffered this kind of uh, persecution, but God was with him. God raised him up. This is the uh, basic setting about the concept of suffering servant. Are you one of the suffering servant for Jesus Christ? Okay. And then let me introduce the consummation of this prophecy. The final, final fulfillment should be Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, okay, our Savior, he was a righteous one, but he had to die on the cross. So in this way, Jesus Christ, okay, could be identified with suffering servant. So this prophecy. Uh, has fulfilled Jesus, uh, this prophecy uh, find out consummation in the life of Jesus Christ in the death of Jesus Christ so uh, 
uh, we interpret uh, this each word of this prophecy Genesis uh, no, uh, Isaiah 53 verse 5 is all about Jesus Christ okay first Peter 2 24 is written in this way he referring to Jesus Jesus himself bore our sins in his body on the cross so that we might die to sin and live for righteousness by his wounds by the wounds of Jesus Christ you have been healed okay so uh, the suffering of Messiah and then our healing closely related each other by his wound uh, the sign of the punishment the sign of the suffering by the wounds of Jesus Christ Jesus was whipped uh, 39 times whipped on his back by his wound you have been healed so healing miracle healing grace yeah, are closely related to suffering of our Messiah the chastisement of our peace was on him <clears throat> and with his stripes we are healed Isaiah 53 verse 5 <clears throat> chastisement the suffering, the basic understanding of the suffering of Jesus Christ, why Jesus had to suffer this kind of chastisement of our, for our peace, okay? And then uh, uh, with these stripes, Jesus was beaten, whipped uh, by Roman soldiers. Uh, what could be the spiritual meaning? With these stripes, we are healed. We believers uh, receive the grace of the healing what kind of healing someone say spiritual healing what kind of healing physical healing as well as you as you read the the, the synoptic gospels jesus for, for jesus forgives sins sinners and then jesus also healed them. so many people so many people experience physical healing as well Okay, God is the same. The grace of Jesus is just the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. So uh, we must open our heart and we must accept this kind of mysterious grace. Um, being a Christian, for being a Christian, it is very hard to understand the, the deep significance of the uh, suffering Jesus. Why do you have to suffer? Because on behalf of our sinfulness, Jesus had to be punished. So as we understand that this by vicarious, vicarious, vicarious chastisement means I'm the one who must be chastised. I'm the one who must be punished and suffered. But Jesus, on behalf of our sins, Jesus uh, was suffered. And that's the meaning of vicarious suffering. So. Uh, taking suffering on behalf of us sinners. So uh, I wish you, by the grace of the Holy Spirit, uh, I wish you understand the deeper meaning of uh, chastisement of Jesus Christ, his stripes, his wound, uh, so that uh, you may enjoy the deeper blessing of Jesus Christ. Okay, mysterious experience of righteous King Hezekiah. Now, uh, this prophecy uh, closely related to the life of King Hezekiah. Uh, he was righteous King. He was a very the, loved his people. He loved God, and God loves Hezekiah. But uh, suddenly, Hezekiah uh, had to suffer incurable disease. Okay, it is written, Isaiah chapter 38, verse 5. The Lord said, The God of David, your father, I have heard your prayers. Behold, I will add to our days 15 years. What's the meaning of this? Okay, the Lord hears the prayers of his people. The Lord used his power to change what human effort could not. God has the power to do the impossible. The Lord can also grant recovery even when human medicine and the best 
of the human effort can offer no hope. People's command. God remembers his covenant with David concerning his kingdom and the succession of his children in it. Okay, uh, Hiskaya suffered critical illness. The critical illness erupted on King Hezekiah at the time of Jerusalem city seized by an enemy nation, Assyria, according to Isaiah chapter 38, verse from 1 to 6. The king was sick as the city was sick. And this kind of uh, sickness is mysterious sickness. Jerusalem city was uh, surrounded by enemy soldiers. Okay, King Hezekiah was surrounded by the incurable disease. At the time, the idol-worshipping northern kingdom Samaria had taken captive already. Only the southern kingdom Judah was survived. But as he prayed to God, God intervened. 185,000 185, Assyrian soldiers killed overnight, miraculously by the angel of the Lord. It is written Isaiah chapter 37, 36. Thus Jerusalem was delivered. Okay, and then uh, as is as Hezekiah was suffering disease, he prayed to God. When Jerusalem city is surrounded by enemy soldiers, he prayed to God. And then God intervened. And then when uh, King Hezekiah personally, he was stricken by incurable disease, and then he prayed to God. He prayed to God, crying, and then uh, Isaiah, God commanded Isaiah, you go back to King Hezekiah and then deliver the message of forgiveness of sin, deliver the message of healing. Okay, so let me read once again Isaiah 38, verse 5. The Lord said, the Lord said to uh, King Hezekiah, the God of David, your father, I have heard your prayer. Behold, I will add to our days. 15 years. So King Hezekiah enjoyed the living more, 15 years more. So in this way, the Lord hears the prayers of his people. The Lord hears the prayers of righteous one. The Lord used his power to change what human effort could not. And God has the power to do the impossible. The Lord can also grant recovery even when human medicine and the best of human effort can offer no hope. Okay, when you become hopeless, uh, you pray to God. Expect the God's intervention, God's miraculous intervention. God remembers his covenant with David. Okay, Whenever we pray to God, we are uh, holding on his promise, his promise. When King Eskaya prayed, God remembered his covenant with God, with David, his father David, concerning his kingdom and the succession of his children in it. So we Christians, we are surrounded by pandemic situation. We are, we are not to be discouraged. We, we must remember the promise of God, all the wonderful promise of God given through Jesus Christ to us. That we must hold on. And then we must believe that the promise of God could be fulfilled today to me now and here. This is the Christian faith. Okay. Uh, this is the, the back of Jesus. The chastisement of our peace. Okay, Jesus was punished in this way. But for what? For our peace. With whom? Peace with God, okay? Peace with God. Because Jesus was punished on behalf of us, 
So Jesus, as Jesus was punished, and it uh, it becomes our peace with God. Okay, this is the meaning. The chastisement of our peace denotes correction, discipline, punishment inflicted by the sovereign permit as parents on their children designed to amend their fault. The Proverb 22.15, Proverb 23.13. It is implied also to the correction of God. Okay. Whenever we commit sin, whenever we commit wrongdoings, God is to correct, God is to give correction. As we are corrected, as we are repented, then we recover a peaceful relationship with God. This is the purpose. How does such punishment lead to peace? Okay, we must know that. How does such punishment lead to peace? Proverbs 15.31 Those who are corrected, those who are punished, repent, okay? Repent by repent, okay? By repenting, we are reconciled to God. Okay, so uh, whenever we are thinking that I am punished by God, I am disciplined by God, then uh, we must desire God is going to uh, recover our broken re relationship because we are reconciled. And this is the grace of Jesus Christ. Jesus punished, Jesus more chastisement on behalf of our sinfulness. And by the grace of Jesus Christ, we can be forgiven, we can be healed, we can be reconciled with God. This is the mysterious content of gospel. Okay, let me explain once again. The chastisement in Hebrew denotes being bitten by Akasia rod. Musar from Yusar. Yusar, passive form, to be chast chastised, to be punished, to be tormented. And then according to the ancient Hebrew picture letter, Yusar, Yod, Samek, Resh, okay, Yod, Yod, arm and hand, and stretch out to hold something. Samek, Samek, okay, there's a Akasha tree. Samek Akasha tree or thorn bush. But this Samek repeated twice. So Samek, Samek. And then third consonant is Resh. According to picture of the Resh, human head. Okay, Samek, this is a, a shape of the thorn bush. It's a yod, shape of the arm and hand. Okay, this is interpretation. God stretches out his hand to hold. This is your many akasha rods. Rod uh, usually used for whipping, for beating, for giving punishment. Samek, Samek. Double, double the Samek means many akasha rods. For, for what? To beat men or to whip men, to punish men. The rash man uh, is rash for correction, correction of wrongdoings. These pictures clearly depict what kind of rod and for whom he used it. It is to correct wrongdoings of men. Okay, now we are going to learn about the wound of Jesus. He was wounded. Wounded, according to Hebrew, original Hebrew, meholal, meholal. This is a passive form of the participle verb from khalal, khalal. Okay, uh, in English, he was wounded, okay? He was wounded or bruised. But according to Hebrew, original verb, Khalal means to bore through, to pierce, bore through, to pierce. Uh, it is very much significant. The obvious, obvious idea, the 
obvious idea of this word halal is some acts of piercing, penetrating wound that would apply to the actual sufferings of the Messiah, to the piercing of his hands and his feet and his side was pierced by the spear of Roman soldiers. Do you see these pictures? According to original Hebrew, halal, bore through, pierce. So he was wounded. What kind of wound? We must imagine what kind of wound? Piercing, wound of piercing, eh? wound of penetrating, boring through. Uh, so as he this prophesied in the book of Isaiah, Jesus suffered this kind of nailing, piercing, his hands, his feet, his side also pierced, pierced. So literally, literal the fulfillment was happened by the suffering of Jesus Christ. This is the mysterious fulfillment of the promise of God. Okay, Isaiah 53 verse 5 and C. With his stripes we are healed. It is also another mysterious word of prophecy. And with his black and blue stripes or bruise, kabura, from the root word kabar. Okay? It is, there's another uh, mysterious the verb. The stripes, the word stripes, kabura, it is the originated from the root word khabar. Khabar, meaning of khabar is number one, to unite, join, bind together, have a fellowship with. It's surprising. Okay? Unite, join, bind together, have a fellowship with. Okay? This kind of good meaning. Good meaning. Why Jesus was striped? Okay? We must. We must think about why Jesus was wounded in stripes, why his, his back, okay, covered with full of uh, stripes. According to original, the root word, khabar, okay, stripe, bit khabar means to unite. Unite with whom, okay, to join, to join with whom, bind together, bind together with whom. Have fellowship with whom? Okay, literally, this was applicable to the Lord Jesus Christ. Sin is a disease belong to all men, but by the blood of Christ, forgiving sin is given and the healing of diseases as well. Christ is a wounded physician. He knows how to heal sinners. Okay. When when sinner is punished, okay. This is the God of Father, our God. One time we are disciplined, we are chastised, okay? We are disciplined, we are punished. For what? To make true friendship with God. When we, when we repent, as we are punished, we repent, okay? We return to God. And then we, we become obedient. In that way, we... We can have fellowship with God again, okay? By, by correction, by receiving correction, we understand what is my uh, wrongdoings. Now, now, we choose to hold the way of righteousness. In this way, we are united to God again. We are joined with God. We are bound together with the blessing of God, okay? And when we repent, then we begin to have fellowship Friendship with God. This is the deep meaning. So now, uh, now many human beings are suffering at this time. But we must remember, there's a purpose of God in all kinds of troubles. God has good purpose. Okay, God wish to have us uh, fellowship, friendship once again. God wish to have the, the fellowship, friendship once again. God says, I am the Lord that heals you. Okay? God has good purpose in everything. 
Okay, uh, now we need to deepen the to understand the Hebrew language. I say 53 verse 5 once again, mysterious revelation of stripes or bruise according to ancient Hebrew. As you study ancient Hebrew picture letter, then you can understand deeper meaning of stripes and bruise. When you're chastised, when you're punished, then uh, you get marks of stripes and bruise, wound. The stripes and bruise is called in Hebrew khabura, khabura, stripes or bruise. From the root word, from the root verb, khabar. Khabar means to unite, mind together, have a fellowship or have a friendship. And then according to Hebrew, heber, a noun form of khabar, heber, Haber means friend, companion, partner, member. Oh, very good. Haber, my friend. Haber. Okay, if it is the verb, to unite, bind together. So this wound, stripes, bruise, okay, comes from uh, this verb, participle form. Okay, this word gives us a deep insight about the purpose of discipline, the purpose of God's discipline, which makes us true friend of God or members of holy people. Okay, how the hat, the picture of the hat, this is a picture of temple. And then bat, this is house, picture, picture letter of house, house, or if it is the extended Jewish community or Jewish nation, Holy Kingdom of Israel. Rash, human, human head, human. Single could be single or could be plural. Uh, this, this human, okay, referring to disciplined man with rod. The purpose of discipline is to make true friend of God or true member of Holy Nation. We are friends of Jesus. Okay, how can we become a, a true family member? Okay, God loves children. That's why whenever children commit sin, whenever children make wrongdoings, and then loving father gives discipline, gives correction, so that uh, they may choose right manner, so that they may choose uh, the way of righteousness. In that way, parents and children and becomes friend each other. Okay? And whenever God gives correction, God has good purpose. Okay? God wish to be our friend. God wish to be my companion. God wish to be my partner. In this way, we can become one of true member of holy people, true member of holy nation, holy family. This is a hidden secret. Okay, uh, the healing, the word healing refers to both spiritual and physical disease from sin. Because Psalm 41, 4, it is written, O Lord, King David pray, O Lord, heal me, for my bones are vexed, vexed. For my bones are vexed. For my bones are in trouble, painful. So heal me. So, oh, the many Christians heal me, they imagine spiritual healing only. Why is spiritual healing only? We are, practically we are suffering, uh, our bodies also suffering from diseases. So we need physical healing as well. But in the Bible, the healing refers to both spiritual healing and physical healing. In Psalm 2, in Psalm 6.2, this is a confession of King David. Who forgives all thine iniquities, sinfulness? Who heals all thy diseases? Okay? Okay, physical disease could be the expression of inner sinfulness. Okay? God wished to forgive iniquities, spiritual, spiritual sin, and then God wished to heal diseases, physical diseases as well. The idea here is that Messiah Jesus would be scourged by this 
by the scourge of Jesus Christ, by the wound and scar of Jesus Christ, health would be imparted to our souls and bodies, or to our both souls and bodies. As we confess, as we believe that two dimension holistic deliverance, then we are, we are enjoy holistic deliverance, both spirit and body. The suffering of the Redeemer on behalf of mankind is to save the world by breaking the power of the sin and diseases. God is to break the power of sin and then power of diseases as well, power of death. So let us proclaim, we are healed by the grace of Jesus Christ. I am healed by the Jesus Christ. Okay, Jesus is our Savior, spiritually, physically, circumstantially. It is called holistic salvation. As you believe in holistic salvation, you are going to enjoy holistic salvation. Salvation spiritually, salvation physically, salvation uh, financially, salvation circumstantially. We are supposed to enjoy peace with God, okay? Political sense of peace, psychological sense of peace, a relational sense of peace, all dimension of all kinds of peace we may imagine. Okay? God is so great. God is so much merciful. So we are worthy to enjoy His wonderful blessings. Okay? May you enjoy this kind of complete holistic blessing in Jesus Christ. And then experience this power, power of salvation, and share His wonderful grace at this time. So we are good news deliverer. May God bless you, God loves you, and I love you too. In Jesus' name, amen.